We start tonight, though, with breaking news. By unanimous decision, the jury finds Mauricio Torres guilty of capital murder in his six-year-old son's death. Good evening. Thanks for joining us for your 5 News at 6. I'm Darren Bob. And I'm Erica Thomas. Torres was previously sentenced to die, but that was overturned by the Arkansas Supreme Court. 5 News reporter Juliana Clipson is in Benton County following this case. Juliana? Guys, the jury deliberated for multiple hours inside this building behind me today and finally found Torres guilty of capital murder. And you'll see this SUV behind me. We're waiting here for Torres to be brought out as he awaits sentencing. After the verdict was read, Torres put his head down and looked down without much emotion. Closing arguments ended around 1045 today. The defense argued for manslaughter, saying Torres did not know Isaiah would die from a stick being put in his rectum. Prosecuting attorney Nathan Smith stood before the jury, stressing that Mauricio Torres is not a victim. Smith described the acts committed against the six-year-old boy as sick and wicked. He says Isaiah was tortured and abused for two years before he died in 2015. Again, the jury did find Torres guilty of capital murder and first-degree battery today here in Bentonville. Live in Bentonville, covering news where you live. Juliana Clipson, 5 News. All right, Juliana, thanks. We'll have much more on this coming up tonight on your 5 News at 10. The sentencing phase, by the way, expected to start tomorrow morning. Torres now convicted killer facing the death penalty.